All right, what's up everyone? This is JR back with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a story time. This story time in particular is the time I could have been arrested and I got on top of my school. All right, before we get into this, make sure you guys check out my Instagram and Twitter. It'll be on the screen, link in the description below. So go check it out. All right, everyone, comment down below their stories of almost getting arrested. And you know, how's your guys day going? Put it down below. All right, so this was a pretty crazy story. I was with my brother. Me, obviously, one of his buddies, and I had one of my buddies over. You know, we were really bored that day. We were just like, you know, what can we do? So we were walking around town just like doing dumb stuff. I think we had our bikes. We are just kind of riding around, and we didn't really know what to do. So we're sitting there. We're scheming. We're like, hmm, what's something really cool that we could do, you know? So, you know, we, we walk down to our local gas station, and we get our snacks, you know, our Arizona's snacks, bro, everything. We were big chilling. And that was like where we were like, where do we want to go? What do we want to do? Like, it's really boring right now, you know? My brother's buddy was like, dude, I really want to do parkour. Like, let's go do some parkour. That's like all he was talking about. And I'm like, we live in a small ass town. There's no places to go do parkour, you know? Like, literally, there just isn't. And we were like, you know what? Let's just go to the school. You know, it's pretty close to my house. So we just, we started walking down there, you know? It was cool. We eating our snacks having a good time, you know, cracking jokes. It's whatever, right? Just recently, they uh, put in, like, a tornado shelter, and it was on the side of the school. So we were like, dude, we could totally get up there because the wall, it, like, went in a little bit, like, where you could put your feet, and it was, like, almost like a ladder type thing. I'll see if I can find something and I'll put it in the video. But we were just like, dude, we could totally get up there, you know? Like, why don't we try it out? It'd be pretty fun, you know? Parkour, bro. So that's exactly what we did. We went up there and we got up on like the school and this wasn't even on the actual school. This was like part of the school kind of, but we went on this one roof and dude, it was so sketchy. I'm not even kidding. There was gravel and like little pebbles all over. It literally felt like you're about to fall through the roof, bro. So spooky. But then we were like, you know what? This just isn't enough. Let's go on top of the actual school building. So that's exactly what we did. We had to walk down this uh, little... Like, we had to, like, jump down a little bit, probably, like, three, four feet, and then walk across. And then we had to hop up again, and I was onto the school, the top of the school building. So we started walking up there, and, dude, we, you know, we pull out our phones. You know, you know me. I pulled out my iPod because I never had a phone until now. So, you know, we're sitting there taking pictures, videos, just having a blast, dude. It was amazing. So we're, we're chilling up there, and there's two levels to our school, I guess you could say. So we were like, dude, but how will we get up to the very top? So what we did is there's these like big like air conditioner type things. That's at least what I think it is. So we went over there and we lifted each other up. And then, you know, the last one, we had to all of us pull up on them to get them up. And then we literally just had to like take a step up and we we're on the very top. And we walked all the way to the very end. And there was this like metal rod thing. And we we're all holding on to it, like taking videos and pictures. Dude, it was so cool. Like. It's crazy because you could see like my whole town and it's low key, not even that high up. It really isn't, but you could see everything. It was so nice. So we're sitting there, we're taking pictures, videos, you know, just doing that stupid stuff. And we're like, all right, you know, we're done. <laughs> like literally just like we basically got up there, took a couple pictures and just like, all right, let's get down. All right. So, you know, we, we went down. We're like, no, we're done with this. It just got boring, I guess. We took our pictures. That's all we needed. So we're walking home. And we were kind of walking around town, and this lady, she just kept following us, like, out of nowhere. And we were like, what's going on here? Because we would, we would drive somewhere. Well, we would walk. We'd be walking. Then we'd take, like, a left, you know, maybe a right. Just trying to get away from her. And it seems like she would drive past us and stuff, but she would immediately, like, come back and be behind us, like, following us home. And once we got, like, down our road, she just kind of drove past, never came back. And we are like, okay, why is this lady following us? Like, this is so weird. So we get home, and immediately, bro, we open up the door. My dad's sitting on the couch, straight face, dude. He looks so salty. He knows what happened, and he was pissed. So immediately, we all walk in, and he's like, give me your phone, Tristan. And he's like, um, why? And he's like, go to your camera roll right now. So Tristan did, and he obviously saw all the pictures and videos of us on top of the school we had to delete him and stuff, but he was so pissed about it. And he started telling us that the cops came 
and that the, the lady, some lady followed us home. And we're like, that's, that's why this bitch was following us because she literally watched us. And my dad was just going ham because, yeah, the cops came and they had to talk with us or whatever. So it ended up happening where we had to go talk to our school. This was an intermediate school, so we had to go to the high school and talk to our superintendent. And I think a cop was going to be there. But this is the craziest part. The only way, this is how she said that she caught us. So my little brother had these yellow Batman socks and I was wearing them. She said that she saw like yellow socks and that somehow got got us caught. I'm like, I don't know how you couldn't just see like four people, but what my dad said is that they saw the socks and that's how they busted us. So F those socks, they got me caught, they're whack. So yeah, immediately my dad's like, yeah, you guys got to go home. So they all went home, you know, rip. The rest of the day, we were just kind of like, hmm, like, what do we do? And we just got yelled at. We can't go do anything. So it was boring. A couple days go by, and we had to go to the high school. And by the way, this was during the summer, so school wasn't even in session. But we went over, and we saw their superintendent, which I think the only reason we didn't get in trouble is because it was literally his last day, and he was retiring. His very last day, we came in. So I think that was just perfectly aligned saved by god but we go in there and low-key he didn't even really seem that mad he was like he's like hey you know how you guys doing we're like uh you know definitely could be better and he's like you know loud he's like i get that so we start talking to him and he's like how'd you guys even get up there and we're like we're like honestly it's the easiest thing ever like because the wall you could literally like step step in there and it was like kind of like a ladder type thing and he literally just like his mind was blown, bro. Like, the emoji, just straight blown up. I don't even know how. Like, it wasn't even hard. So he was like, oh, that's how you guys got up there. You know, thanks for telling me, whatever. And we're like, yeah. And then he's like, all right, so. He's like, you guys can't be going up on top of the school. Like, what if you guys got hurt? You guys could have easily died or somehow done some damage to the school. You guys would have to pay for it. Or, you know, what, what if your parents got a call that was saying that their kid was on top of the school, fell off, and died? <laughs> dude <laughs> like i low-key thought it was funny but i couldn't laugh because like we wouldn't have died bro we were we made sure we weren't even close to the edge there's literally no way we would have fell off that still was like some 120 mile an hour wind we talked to him for a little bit and he was like really chill and a cop never ended up coming but so basically what he told us he's like look guys he's like i'm not really trying to deal with this right now he's like just don't do it again He's like, if you guys do it again, we will have to get police involved, and you guys will be arrested. But yeah, we were definitely like, yep, we will not do that again. And basically, after that, it was chill. We never had a problem. Never done it again, so we're golden. All right, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys want to see. Make sure you guys check out my Instagram and Twitter. It'll be on the screen. Link in the description below. Go check it out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Alright, so, just wanted to put this in the video. Um, the reason I haven't been posting for the last week is because I got a strike for graphic content, apparently. All it was was literally just a whole bunch of peeling f people failing on a skateboard, and apparently that's just inappropriate and just too bad for YouTube. And, you know, they can't age restrict it because who uses that? You know, they just strike you down and delete the video. But... I just wanted to say that's why I haven't been posting and I'm going to try getting back on track. I'm working a lot now, so it's kind of hard. Like right now I'm working five days a week, but I have a couple of videos already done and I'll be sure to post some more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys comment down below what type of videos you guys want to see and what you think of the video. And if you guys have any tips or ideas for my videos put them down below they're really appreciated and it helps me grow a lot when you guys put comments down and like the video so please do that all right when you guys get done watching this video be sure to go on my instagram and send me a dm of what you guys think it'll be on the screen right now link in the description below so please check it out as well as my twitter i only have like 56 followers on there so run it up Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.